back in the water and ready for some hunting. We are at the beginning of May. Life in the sea is picked up and we are finally seeing lots of fish. So far, only small schools of fish. But as you know, the big ones are there too. Visibility in the water is not very good, but good enough for hunting. Approximately three to five meters. The water is still a little cold. Measured nine degrees at the surface, but further down it is perhaps closer to seven to eight degrees. But all in all, we are satisfied with the conditions and not least, the fish is here. So let's hunt. This pollock was just what I needed. Now we're getting started here. This fish weighed just over five kilos. Super happy with this catch. Now it just needs to be drained and then I usually tear off the gills as well. Here I am between two pillars, a shallow area with currents and large gatherings of shoals of fish. The larger fish also hang around here. We have observed that in the past, a very exciting area. Lots of fish in motion. Everything takes place at once. You can expect to see big fish in this place, that is for sure. So I invest some time here to look around. Taking my time here, patiently waiting for the sight of a large shadow of a fish, expecting to unleash a shot at any moment. That's why I locate my buddy in between each dive. I know if I am patient now, the reward will come. The big fish is coming. We all know that feeling. Patience, right place, and right time. Everything was in place for a great catch, but the shot missed and the fish disappeared. Meanwhile, my buddy has moved over to the third pillar. Sounds like he might have caught a fish. Gotta go over to him and check out what's going on. It was a beautiful fish he caught. It was over five kilos. Lots of food here. This place delivers, as always. I was blessed with one last chance to catch another fish this day. The shot goes through the fish and everything looks good at the start. 
but then the arrow unfortunately falls off and the fish disappears. Not ideal. This is the second opportunity I'm losing today. But that's part of the game. New opportunities will come. And what I don't know yet is that tomorrow I will catch my personal best Pollock in this place. My first dive for today. Visibility and temperature are the same as yesterday. Visibility varies with high and low tide, and the sun has been replaced with morning mist and overcast. We see a lot of fish. The shoals are in their usual places, and the water is a little darker now that it's cloudy. We move on from the first pillar. I explore a little from the surface while swimming. I'm on my way to the last pillar. There are shoals of fish everywhere. My biggest Pollock so far. The scale stopped at exactly seven kilos. Lots of good food. Now the fish meat must be processed. First we gut the fish. Then all the meat must be packed into freezer boxes. All that is already ready at the campsite. Here the fillets do not sit for too long. We want the food transported from here in the best possible way for further distribution at home. Here you can see the catch from the trip. Much of that meat goes into fish soup for the whole family, plus some guests. We throw a lot of goodies into the pot. Lots of cream, a little wine, some chives, salt and pepper, to name a few. And finally, the fish. Then the end result will be delicious. And so, without further ado, go day divers. <laughs>